What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are cleaning out the mailbox in uh, the ongoing challenge that I have or series on YouTube and if you guys have no clue what that is it's basically just helping noobs to make millions right and the whole idea is that I'm personally like myself are gonna go from zero gold and all the way up to 10 million gold and I'm only allowed to do like the steps and follow the book like any other people or guy should do, right? So it's like for the people that do have the uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide, I'm basically just going to do everything that's in the book to show people how easy it is to make 10 million gold, right? And if you guys don't have the book yet, there's currently like this Christmas sale going on where you guys can get any of the gold guides, like it doesn't matter if you play retail, TBC, like Season of Mastery, you can get any of the books, pick them up for $9.99 using code CHRISTMAS. So while I'm doing that, uh, I'm obviously also doing a lot of farming with my viewers, like I'm live streaming every single farm that I do, uh, like that's five man, I try to focus on the five man farm so i can like really get in there and like literally play with my viewers so i tend to live stream all of the five man farms and ten man farms that i do on stream so you guys can uh, definitely join me on twitch tv slash student albatross if you want to see that or if you want to join in and there's also um the vip uh supporters that is relatively new for me uh, but it's basically just a program similar to like how all content creators have like Patreon. But this one gives you special access to uh, the VIP Discord where uh, you guys will get prioritized spots to join my farming groups. And you will also see the important YouTube videos before anyone else. So like if I'm uploading a video tomorrow that's called uh, how to do this sick gold flip or like this vendor shuffle or anything like that. Everyone on that Discord sees that video before it goes public on my YouTube channel. It doesn't have a great impact just yet because there's only like six, seven people or something like that that has joined in. That's more than enough though. That's really badass. Um, but yeah, that's the whole idea behind the challenge. Just pretty much help people make gold and uh, also document my own process as I farm alongside with those people, right? And... Um, that's pretty much it. So right now, it's the holidays, so I got plenty of time right now. Well, I got more time at least to actually like scan for undercuts. And when I'm not live streaming, I can do all of the uh, the solo farms in the book and so on. So uh, right now, just after New Year's, like next week, I'm obviously, I'm going to go back to work. So I don't have as much time to do this challenge. But the idea was never to see how fast I could go from zero gold to 10 million gold. It was just to show people, uh, even if you don't play that much even, you can still make a decent amount of gold if you just uh, focus and follow the steps in the book. So, since last cleanout, uh, I got 2 million gold on the last cleanout, but that was so more than a week though, like that was the cleanout for more than a week. But it was still a very good cleanout at 2 million gold. So this is exactly a week because I uploaded the uh, previous, the first... Uh, update video exactly a week ago on the last Thursday so we can see that this week I sold 255 auctions first 100 auctions is 650,000 gold there's some really interesting stuff I'm obviously not going to mention all of this because uh like a lot of it just repeats itself that's how like the book is kind of built up on if you do the first steps of the book uh and you have all of that on the auction house that has decent prices you're going to be quite busy just restocking those items because they will sell if you play in an okay realm. So uh, you're going to definitely going to leave you busy getting through all of the book. Like I, I'm, I know for a fact that I will hit gold cap before I can get to do all of the farms in the book. 100%. Okay, so I sold some Enchanted Elementium Bar, 7 of them, but only for 26.6, which is a horrible price. Like, back when uh, you could first start transmogging Legendaries, I sold one of these for 26,000 gold, easily. Uh, but it's been doing good on the, on the toy part, man. Like, I sold the Dwarven Dice, like, relatively decent price at 35k. Uh, I sold the Time Locked Box, which is pretty much just a Bronze Whelpling. Tomb of Polymorph Monkey, they got a low price. Sealed Tomb of Lost Legion. Sold 
uh, there's a lot of volatiles on this list naturally volatiles are great so some primal water shitty price but after my black temple video uh, they pretty much tanked in the price so that's my own doing crash and trash and toy 13k for some reason i sold three gnomish dice i'm not this guy no clue what he's gonna do with it if he's gonna reset the price or give him out for christmas i have no fucking clue so some cobalt bar storm silver monolite uh elementium bars they have a shitty price but th there's a lot of bots doing uh, cataclysm mining so i just i was after having a lot of elementium or i was gonna check the price on it and they were like six gold each on the auction house because of a bot so i just bought up a decent amount of it and melted it down and sold it for some profit uh let's see is there anything else cool worth mentioning magnificent hide i pretty much the exotic letter went so much down in value because we're looking at the end of the mage shower right now so i instead crafted it into magnificent hide and sold it, it was it was easier that way sold some primal might primal might is selling for a decent price 25k for five of those uh this is an interesting one i absolutely love this one this is so insane uh, there was somebody well it was completely sold out for cobalt bars on my auction house and i had none like i was one of the dudes selling the last remaining cobalt bars and i just casually went out and farmed some more i come back and i was like shit some clown has posted cobalt bars for five 100 gold each i just sold them for like 45 gold each and i was like fuck it dude i'm gonna post them for 500 gold each as well and sadly i didn't sell all of the uh the cobalt that i farmed but i did sell 120 for 500 gold each like each bar which was really cool so some more primal might uh titan steel volatiles uh volatile fire this time primal fire fell cloth Ooh, I need to do more fell cloth farming. This is a horrible price, but it's sold. Fell iron, corium. A lot of a lot of materials and toys. Some battle pets. It all adds up. There's a lot of minor sales too that really adds up. Shield Tomb of Lost Leech. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but uh, they do sell for a very low price. But I have my warlock just camped on the island, so it's uh, still e relatively easy gold. It is okay let's see next 100 auctions is uh even better at 855,000 gold purium loaded gnomish dice dwarven dice sold steel tomb of lost legion again we have some serenite we got primal air a look at this 68 primal air 122,000 gold which is actually like the market value that, that's a normal price it's just usually you don't sell that many at a time well i don't at least Primal Mana, 22k for those 78. Titan Steel Bar. Primal Water. Now, this is a way better price. 70,000 gold for 82 of them. And I sold like, what, 40 of them for 10k just now. Obsidian Bar, Fell Iron Bar. What else do we have? Crimson Spinal with, from the Black Temple video, selling for an okay price. Uh, Enchanted Elementium, sold 10 of them. Magnificent Hide again. Exotic Letter this time. Primal Fire, Titan Steel Bar, selling a lot of these Wad Toys, Arcanite Bar, what's that? Yeah, this is also insane. Okay, so you see how I sold this Dark Whelpling for almost 50,000 gold for a Dark Whelpling. Like, by the way, you get like 10 Dark Whelplings an hour, right? So it's, it's a trick. If I go here and I search for Dark Whelpling, notice how I have it posted for 9,000 gold and 50,000 gold. So the thing is, they drop, this is when they're recaged, right? You get the drop, you learn the pet, and then you open up your pet journal, you right click it, and uh, you press like put in the cage, and then you sell it on the auction house, right? If you do that, it's listed for 9,000 gold. However, this is the item as it drops off the mob, and that's what I sold for 50,000 gold, but it's exactly the same pet. That also goes for 9,000 gold. So I always do that with every single uh, every single pet that I farm. I sell it as a recaged and as the actual drop. And you will be amazed of how many times that's working wonders just like now. It's sick. Let's see. Is there anything else that's cool? I, I had to budge and I sold like 
my entire stock of righteous orbs for very little. I didn't want to keep them until April because I'm going to be gold cap by the time April comes around for the next mage tower. And I can just, um, uh, I can just take these bad boys right here and I can, uh, farm them again for the next mage tower, right? Then we have a steel tomb of lost legion selling. We got nether shard essences for uh, the nether shards in the uh, legion. Uh, but 855,000 gold in that clean out. It's actually really good. Like, really good. And we still have some auctions left. We're already at above a million gold. So I'm happy. I'm not expecting that much. But it's nice to get like a head start since I know I'm not going to make as much gold whenever, um, whenever I get back to work. Wait, was that it? Wait, aren't these the same? Is this a different batch of primal air? Uh, can I find my previous sale on that? That sounds too good to be true. How much gold did I just clean out? 732. No, I didn't take this one with it. There we go. And now we have 493,000 gold. But that's only in 56 auctions. That's also really good. Corium, Corium, Dark Iron, Heavy Savage, b -b 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 -b, Fell Steel. Golden Pearls, Titan Steel, Exotic Leather, another Dice, Dice they deliver, man, Primal Fire, Volatile Fire, Volatile Water, more Primals, Titan Steel, Primal Might, Fell Iron Bar, Crash and Trash and Toy, overall, we're making a killing, we're making a lot of gold, how much, I actually did make 2 million gold this week, <laughs> didn't I? I did. That was pretty much spot on. Two million gold in a week. Which by no means, yes, that is really good. Uh, but uh, I've also spent a decent amount of time actually doing farming. Just so you guys don't pick up the zero to ten million gold guy. I'm like, student, what the fuck, dude? I've been farming and I haven't made two million gold a week like you are doing. Uh, by all means, I know people that has bought the book and made more than 2 million gold a week because they put in the hours, right? Uh, but uh, this is stuff that I've been working on for like the 70 years that I've been making content on uh, YouTube and live streaming. So I know that the shit in the book works. I mean, I've made multiple gold caps. Uh, so it's nice to see that right now as well, making gold never been easier it's still super relevant everything in the book and i will constantly update the book for you guys so you can make sure that everything in the book is fresh and up to date however that was it so don't forget to check out the uh, vip supporter if you want to join the uh second discord and you want to get the videos before people and prioritize spots in the gold farms and of course it's like the second last day for the Christmas sale. So use code CHRISTMAS. Link down below in the description and pinned comment. And yeah. That's pretty much it. I will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video. But until then. Bye bye.